from Thuck Monster Media. Hey, I'm Kat, I'm from Thuck Monster. Uh, we make uh, not educational, not entertainment, but somewhere in between. Um, I'm the, the dubious honor of being the CEO of the company, very glad the title, but I think it's the best job in the world. Uh, we make entertainment and positive messages for people. Um, so you probably think people we make games um, and people, people like that. Well, not really. Uh, because if anybody's ever looked after a child for more than an hour and a half, if you're really patient, what really an hour, then it's easy, easy, easy for something like this to turn into something like that. And that's who we make games for. Is that your music? No. Oh, I love that. It's pleasant enough. I thought that was just in my head. <laughs> so our mission is to make a guilt free base for parents. Uh, the people I'm doing this with, Kathy, Lorna and myself. Uh, we're a small team um, and we try and do a lot with our time. Uh, but when we, we've worked together on several projects for a couple of years. Uh, well, we really wanted to create our own IP, um, and we saw that was, there was a gap um, for interactive original story apps for kids, um, the ones that we'd seen available. We thought we could do better, um, and so we workshopped and brainstormed a few different concepts, but what we came up to with was a zoo in my shoe, and this is going to be our first release. Uh, it's all about Penelope Bickle, that's her. Uh, she's a cheeky, fiery redhead. And she has some magic shoes with da, 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 a zoo inside. So she puts on her zoo, uh, sorry, her shoe, and goes into the zoo. And she meets all these crazy animals like rapping hippos, uh, Salvador, Dali-esque tigers who teach her how to paint, um, and things like that. Uh, it's, each release is going to be based on a theme. So the animals will introduce Penelope to new concepts, um, and the user as well to uh, different music uh, and they might learn to play a few little notes, uh, some art and probably some dance as well because the kids seem to love to get into all of that. Um, in July we pitched for a spot on an accelerator uh, so I'm going to show you the video that we pitched with um, even though it's a bit cringe worthy now. <laughs> So we need something that really grabs them and wants someone to interact uh, with our uh, with our product. Um, we've also been doing the boring stuff like revenue models, financial projections, and market research, which is horribly essential for building a successful game. Um, if anybody here has a project that they're thinking about bringing to an accelerator or development program, I would say just do it. You might be a bit oh I don't know about giving away some of my company, but 100% uh, of nothing. Still nothing. That's the way we think. Um, this is our prototype. That's all you're going to see for now because it's uh, going to be ready in two weeks. But it's going to be the big reveal. Uh, we've got a few launches coming up if all our testing goes well. Um, February, May, and July. Uh, but to really get the best of the assets we've created, which have been timely um, and 
therefore expensive to create. What we want to do is have a brand rather than just a product to push our IP out across a multitude of different platforms. Games, toys, merchandise, pajamas, and we think big, so maybe even a giant uh, theme park one day in the shape of shoes. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so, to finish off, I just want to share a couple of things we've learned in the last few weeks. Uh, your parents won't understand if you tell them you're going to make a game instead of a proper job. So, <laughs> don't expect them to make it up if you have to, unless you want to hit them. Aww, well done, Pat. Off you go. Uh, the rule of two, everything will always take twice as long as you think and cost twice as much. The most important thing you have is your team. They will be there when things are getting really stressful and they're the people you should celebrate when things are going well. So pick the right people, support them, um, and then you'll really go far. Say no to naysayers. There's loads of people who will tell you, oh, you're going to fail at this, this is going to be a disaster. Just don't entertain them. Smile at them and go, thanks for your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, people who love, uh, we're doing that. We're having a great time doing it. So that's it. Thank you.